Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This is part two of three in our series on digital I.O. setup. To interface with the outside world, the AKD has digital inputs and digital outputs, and depending on how we set them up, we can change the function of the drive. Digital input four is set to 20, brake release. In applications with a fail-safe brake, it might be necessary to disable the drive and remove the brake. Since the brake is on when the drive is not active, this will allow the brake to be removed. Input 3 is set to 2, start motion task. The param will indicate the different motion tasks available. When input 3 is triggered, the motion task set in the param will begin. Input 2 is set to mode 9, command buffer. There are four command buffers available and each has two states, a high and a low. A common use is to be able to adjust gains by an input. Buffer 1 has been set up for two different sets of gains. Under load with input 2 low, the gains will be high. Then after the load has been removed and the input goes high, the gains are lowered. Input 1 is set to mode 22, switch command source and op mode. When input 1 goes high, the command source will become analog and the operation mode will become velocity. Keep in mind each input has many different mode types and that param, filter, and polarity apply to all of them when it's being set up. Keep your eyes open for part 3 when we focus on digital outputs. I'm Gordon Ritchie for 2 Minutes of Motion. I'll see you in our next segment.